guys and welcome to day 13 of the fossil advent calendar. So for today's video I thought I would talk about crinoids. Now crinoids are a class of the phylum Echinodermata and I have already spoken about one other class which was the one where I spoke about the sea urchins and the sand dollars but this phylum is also made up of starfish, brittle starfish and also sea cucumbers. So it's quite a cool phylum but I've split it into videos so I can give each of the classes its worthy time. So for today's video we're gonna be talking all about crinoids. Now, they also are given the name sea lilies and that's because of their appearance. But I think this name can be a little bit confusing because they're not plants. They might look like it, but they're in fact animals. So uh, it's kind of a confusing point of crinoids, but I thought I would start with that. But they are an example of a living fossil. And so we have evidence of them in our fossil record dating back to the Cambrian period, which is over 500 million years ago. And then some species are still surviving today in our ocean. So they're pretty cool and they're made up of like calcareous plates which can break apart when they die and so you can find fossils of like individual um, components of the stalk I will show some pictures in a moment and uh, they look really unusual because they look like perfect stars and uh, they're really pretty just on their own or if you're lucky you can find a complete specimen as well so I'll put some pictures of living ones as well as fossilized ones I didn't want to say dead ones but they are but uh, I hope you guys enjoy so here we have some examples of living crinoids. So we can see that they are permanently attached to the seafloor and they use the upper part of their morphology to actually filter their food and catch their prey that way. So they feed on like detritus particles and algae, that type of thing. And they also filter plankton. So they are filter feeders. And then uh, this is the morphology here. So we can see that you've got the stalk and then the crown and they have the ability to move their crown to the direction of the water flow to actually help with catching their food. So this is an example of a really spectacular crinoid fossil which is complete and then we've also got this example of a crinoid fossil which is actually found from Lyme Regis and we can see the beautiful preservation of the pyrite. So they can be really stunningly preserved and you can get quite a lot of detail in a small piece especially along the Jurassic coast but you can also find fragments of crinoids. So with these we find them as these tiny little stars or they can be just uh, circles or cylindrical um, but my favorite are the stars because I mean they're just so perfect as they are so I thought I'd show you guys some examples and then we have this one here which shows you what the stalk components can look like a complete specimen and then it's next to the living one as well and then this is just another example of the fossil versus the living thing so you can see all the arms and the stalk and you can see how they resemble one another so they're really unusual creatures and they have existed for so long in both our fossil record and modern days so they're really unusual and well adapted um, organisms so that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you did. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to check out any of that. But I really hope you're enjoying the series and thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.